Hi, Mark Washburn here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com. And if you're here, you're probably looking to learn more about pond aeration. I can tell you, after working with pond owners from across the country for the last decade or more, that the number one recommendation I end up making for them is to include pond aeration in their arsenal. Uh, there is nothing more powerful or potent that can help so many aspects of a pond's health and vitality. And certainly during the extreme conditions that we find in our summers and extreme winter conditions, the aerating systems are useful throughout that time frame to help protect fish, whatever they may be and whatever size of pond you may have. So I'd urge you to stick with me for a few more minutes because I've prepared a presentation that answers some of the most common questions we get on pond aeration systems and how it can benefit your pond. I thank you once again for joining me and I'll be right back with more information. Hi, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com again and in this video we want to cover Pond Aeration 101 what you need to know before buying a pond aeration system. You know there's a lot of aerating systems on the market today but finding one that suits your pond the best and does everything that you want it to do takes a bit of research and a bit of an education and that's what this video is here to help you with. First of all we know that this has been a very bad summer for fish and more people have contacted us asking about pond aeration than ever before because they're losing fish due to very high temperatures and high sustained heat. Uh, many of these ponds are losing oxygen because of this and many fish are dying because of this and pond aeration is the number one thing that you can do to protect them. A typical pond aeration system is made up of several parts. Fundamentally, there's a compressor or pump, which you see in the green cabinet here. Airline is also included, and we recommend the weighted airline for easier installation. And then there's a diffuser, which is the black uh, plate-like uh, item that you see in the photograph. And that is the release point of the air. That black plate sitting atop a weighted base has actually got a huge number of very small micro holes in it and that is what the air is pushed out of creating a very diffused form of bubbled air. This is another form of a diffuser that you'll see commonly used. It's a stick diffuser and again even with this system the pump sits on land the airline is then connected between the pump and the diffuser and that is placed at the bottom of the pond. Here's a common question we get. Fountains or aerators, what's better for your pond? Well, in our opinion, fundamentally, aerators that are placed subsurface using a land-based pump and a bottom-based diffuser is the best way to go in most cases because it affects the entire pond. When you use a fountain, fundamentally, it's going to cover the top several feet of a pond. They may work well in shallow conditions to help aerate well, and they aerate some anyway, but when you have a pond that's six, eight feet or, or deeper in particular, the bottom of that pond gets very low oxygen, and so you want to add some way to improve the oxygen level there, and with a subsurface system, it will circulate oxygenated water throughout the entire body. Uh, certainly, aerators have shown uh, for many people to cost less to run. They're more affordable to run. They could be more affordable to purchase as well. They're also more dependable because they push air out instead of drawing water in like a fountain which tends to plug up if you're having problems with algae or what have you. And they generally are more trouble free because they operate more simply. Also they're more quiet and efficient. Now here's a few benefits of aeration. It directly and massively increases dissolved oxygen levels in the water and it increases circulation too, both of which are very good in super hot weather. It also stimulates naturally occurring beneficial bacteria which is aerobic. It requires good oxygenation in the water to work well and this is the cleanup crew for your pond. These little microbes reduce uh, organic muck, sludge, and they reduce nutrients that feed algae growth. Aeration also protects fish dramatically from low oxygen periods due to high heat or plant die-off. If someone treats an algae problem with an algicide and it dies off quickly, or an aquatic weed for instance, that can pull oxygen from the water and fish can be lost because of that too. And aeration protects the entire fish population from a uh, low oxygen deficit. And in the end, aeration will improve the health of the entire pond. 
Here's a few common questions we get about aeration too. How are our aeration systems sized for a pond? Basically we take the length in feet times the width in feet and get a surface area size, a uh, quarter acre, half acre um, for large ponds, or we'll take a gallon size for small ponds. We also consider depth in the equation because the deeper a pond is, the more a single diffuser will help uh, cover a larger area on the surface, and so that's a factor too. But we generally, with those dimensions and with those specifics, we can help size any kind of a system from a small pond of several hundred gallons up to a multi-acre lake. We also use aerial mapping for very large waters to help in the layout design. How much do they cost to operate? Generally speaking, for large pond systems, the quarter horsepowers will run about $10 a month to operate. The largest systems, the AM100, which is what we carry, will cost about $50 to operate. And this is a very, very large system. So they are very affordable to run compared to many other ways that you might uh, try to improve the appearance of a pond. How much noise do they make? All of our systems are rated at below 50 decibels, which is a if you were to overhear a common verbal conversation between two people from about 10 feet away, that's 50 decibels, and all of our systems are quieter than that. These are not like your standard garage air compressors that make a lot of noise. These will hum very lightly, and most people will not even hear them. All of our aeration systems are guaranteed to run at least two years on the compressor, that's the factory warranty, and five years on the airline and diffuser. You can expect about five to seven years out of any of these systems uh, on the low end, and we've had some that have run seven to ten years without any repairs necessary. Generally, all that's required is a few seals are replaced every now and then uh, over a period of years, and the compression will come back and you're good to go for a, another run. Also, a common question, will aeration alone clear up my pond? Sometimes it will. If you're having an algae problem and you haven't treated with chemicals such as copper-based algicides, by adding aeration, the natural occurring bacteria in the water is stimulated again, and it can start to clean up these nutrients that feed unwanted growth. And so we have had cases where aeration will help improve the appearance of a pond all on its own. If it doesn't, there are also tools that you can apply with it that work very well together to help reduce the problem. It also will protect uh, your fish if you ever have to use an algicide in order to deal with the problem as well or a herbicide for weed growth and your fish will be safe because the aeration is running in the pond. It's important to look at aeration as an investment in your pond. A good aeration system is the number one thing you can do to improve the health and vitality of your pond or water garden. All other functions, mainly natural ones, will work better with good oxygen levels. And nothing, nothing can protect a pond and fish from hot stagnant weather conditions or winter ice overs and freeze ups more effectively. So for more information, we urge you to read more of the content that's found below on this page or if you have questions, contact us at pondalgesolutions.com and we'll be happy to help.